would you invest in this company? In this analysis video, we're going to see whether there's a good business behind the stock, and if so, is now the right time to buy? This analysis is split into seven distinct metrics, categorized into three very important areas of focus. First, let's talk about growth. What you see here is a comparison of our company, its main competitor, and the S&P 500 as it pertains to its projected earnings growth for the next five years. The higher the growth rate, the better. Next, let's talk about hype. What you see here is how much hype is around the company. We use the P-E ratio to represent how much speculation is given to the stock. We prefer a lower P-E ratio. That means less speculation. Thirdly, let's talk about efficiency. What you see here is how efficiently does the company generate cash. This is either represented by its return on assets or its return on equity. We ideally want a highly efficient business. Next, let's talk about book value. What you see here is the price to book ratio, our way of measuring how much value are we getting from the company. The lower the ratio, the better, with the ratio under one being ideal, but anything under three is still pretty good. Now let's talk about dividends. On the left, you'll see the current dividend yield and the buyback yield. We ideally want those to be above 1.5% each. On the right, you'll see the payout ratio. That's how much of its earnings are going towards paying out dividends and buying back the stock. Ideally, we want less than 30% going towards payouts. But before we continue, join my Patreon, where you'll get access to every company I've analyzed, so you can easily compare between each. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. So now that we've looked at the five metrics that tell us about the business, let's see which is a better business. What you can see is a scorecard comparing our company, its main competitor, and the S&P 500. Comparing the overall score, you can see which is a better investment solely on its business fundamentals. Next, let's talk about fair price. What you see is the company's current price and my fair price. To the right, you'll see how undervalued the stock is in percentage terms, where a negative number harbors towards the overvalued side. So then knowing the business and the price, should you invest in this company? Putting everything together, here's how I grade our company as an overall investment right now. You may put more importance on the business or on the price, or maybe a combination of both. But let's now talk about performance. I'm not going to put this as part of the analysis, but I want to share with you how our company has done over various timeframes versus its industry and S&P 500. Sometimes you may not care about the business or the price, and you just want to know how the stock has performed. Remember to check out my Patreon. Your support is always appreciated. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.